Afternoon surrounding the murder of an 18 year old in Central Austin's West Campus neighborhood. The victim's boyfriend is in jail now after police say their relationship came to a violent end. KXAN's Chris Sadegi spoke to one of the victim's friends about what happened. Up until April, Stephen Sylvester and Taylor Shirley lived together in Houston. That's when Stephen set out for Austin where he wanted to attend school. It was uh, both education and also friends and the fact that it was closer to his family. Talking to us by Skype, Taylor told us he lost track of Stephen since then until a mutual friend called him over the weekend to tell him Stephen was dead. I just kind of collapsed on my friend's kitchen floor and just cried there for a while. In recent weeks, Stephen had been posting pictures online of himself with another man, Brian Canchola. I've never met Brian. I've never heard of him before. The affidavit details a brutal fight that ended in murder between two men who were in a relationship with each other. Sylvester's friends indicate that the relationship may have been fairly new. His uh, close friends didn't really know him either. Stephen hadn't really mentioned him a whole lot. They only knew him because he posted those few pictures on his Instagram. Pictures posted in past weeks show a happy couple, but Canchola's now behind bars. A roommate claims the two got into a violent fight and Sylvester was bleeding heavily from the back of his head by the time it was over. An episode Taylor can't imagine Stephen being involved in. I've never known him to be in like any sort of actual violent physical contact with someone. Police say Stephen was yelling for Canchola to stop, but by the time he did, too much damage was done. From West Campus, Chris Sadegi, Cake Sand News. And an arrest warrant says Sylvester initially checked himself into Brackenridge before leaving without being treated. Later, it was Canchola who called police, saying his boyfriend was unconscious. Oh.